And we're back with Couple Movie Watchers. And we just got out of the theaters watching Piece by Piece. Piece by Piece. Piece by Piece. And this is the Pharrell Williams kind of Lego documentary movie. Or I guess mm-hmm. it is the documentary Lego movie, right? It <laughs> is, it is. So, what did you think about this movie? I really enjoyed this movie. It was a good, fun, creative idea. I totally agree. And i actually seen you cry a couple of times. Yeah, huh? I did cry. You definitely got the feels in this movie, huh? Yeah, it's just relatable with, like, the things, you know, he went through. the things he went through, his, you know, his background and being an artist and all that, you know, the struggles and everything else. It was really good. Yeah, I definitely liked it. I wasn't really sure what I was going to get with this movie. I just knew. I was like, yeah, why not watch it? You know what I mean? We got this AMC stubs. So why not watch it, right? Yeah. <laughs> why not watch the movie every weekend for the most part? Um, overall, I thought it was a really good movie as well. It kind of felt like a little bit of a musical journey. I like how he, I like, I like the visuals. I think it was a really creative idea to do kind of like a documentary about your life using like a Lego animated film. Mm-hmm. And I think we learned stuff about him that I didn't know. I knew a lot the about him, yeah, but me. there were songs I didn't know he did. Like, um, what, Rum Shaker? I didn't know he was a part of that. I didn't know he did the Kendrick Lamar, We Gonna Be All Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that one too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he did like a lot of stuff, and I knew about Pusha T doing the McDonald's jingle. I didn't know Pharrell Williams was involved in that as well. Mm-hmm. So there's like a lot of little gems that you learn about Pharrell as an artist. The music is great. Obviously, we know Pharrell Williams, the Neptunes. You know, there's like a lot of cameos from really big artists who he helped kind of contribute to the musical landscape. And I don't really, is there any real super producers out there? Like back in the day, you had like, you had Pharrell Williams, the, the Neptunes, you had Timberland. There was so, you had Guru. There were so many just producers out, out there back in the day, like legendary producers, Teddy Rally, just mm-hmm. a lot in general. I don't really know. Maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, dating myself a bit, but there's no one that's like hot like on a consistent basis that I can think of, right? It's just it's mainly about the artist. And I just feel like he was very creative and he was able to create this uh all this music in different genres. Which is very creative. And I one thing I thought was interesting is how he actually sees the world, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's one of the things that kinda like, you know, you could see his creative process, you know, a little bit mm-hmm. through the movie. And mainly just his mindset. So overall, we definitely recommend it. If you get a chance, check it out. Yes. Either at the movie theater. If you see it at the movie theater, I highly recommend Dolby, Dolby. Mm-hmm. or Prime. Something that has like the bright colors where you really get to feel. Sit back in a recliner chair and get to kick out of audio as well. But overall, it was a good movie. One through ten, what do you give it? Give it an eight. Eight. That's high praise. It's actually getting, if you look at IMDb, I think last time I checked it was like at a seven. Ron Tomatoes, I'm not quite sure where it was at. But, but we're, we're talking about good. us. What are you, what are you rating? I give it a solid seven. Oh, okay. Actually, maybe seven and a half. It was a good movie. Overall, it may, maybe an eight, but eight for me is like really tough, right? It like mm. has to be a movie I really want to see. And this movie was really good, but. Hmm. I wanted to see it and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I guess. And I cried. Well, yeah, and you cried. So <laughs> so that's why I say it's an eight because it got in my, in my feels. It was a good film. It, it, overall, was, I'll, I'll give it a seven and a half. Definitely mm-hmm. movie theater worthy. And if not, definitely catch it on streaming when it becomes available. If you love any of his music, if you love the, um, Pharrell Williams as an artist, or if you just want to see a really... If you're an artist as well, right? If you're mm-hmm. a creative person, and even if you're not necessarily a creative person, I think you will enjoy the journey of seeing someone and kind of where they start off at and where they're at where now. Where they're at now, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's a good life story. It's a good kind of documentary, creative. It's, it's just overall a good experience. On that note, let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Peace. Peace.